having won first prize at the Operalia World Opera Competition in Moscow, Russia, and having shared the stage with Andrea Bocelli, Placido Domingo and Celine Dion, Pretty Yende's blossoming career remains rooted in her humble beginnings in Pitratif. I believe your journey to this incredible life started a mere 10 years ago. Back then, what were you thinking that you'd ever end up here? Mm, I had no idea whatsoever. All I had was in my heart was, what is this opera? How can I make my voice sound like that? When was the first time you heard opera? It was on TV. I was sitting at home with my family and we were watching TV and there was an ad. And behind the ad, there was this music. Those 10 seconds gave me my purpose of life. That's how I call it. How does your hometown feel about your success? The whole town is buzzing. I think the whole of South Africa is buzzing because we've been able to reach heights, you know, that most people never thought that we as South Africans would, you know, would reach. She is the first artist in history to win first place in every category at the prestigious Belvedere competition in Vienna. You went from being the only person you knew who sang opera to studying at the South African College of Music and encountering all these other people who knew about opera. What was that like for you? Overwhelming. I mean, you can imagine, Petrushif is such a small town. And there I was going with my small little dream to find out about singing opera. And I come to the opera school and I hear these amazing voices. I see these incredible instruments. And I'm, I'm learning about opera not just being one, you singing with just a piano, but you're singing with a full orchestra of about 45 people. The opera itself, you're wearing costumes, you're wearing wigs, there's makeup. I never knew about makeup until I went to UCT. So it has been such an amazing, amazing journey. Can you remember a major stumbling block you encountered earlier on in your journey? The first one that I had was actually accepting my instrument. Because hearing all these amazing voices, I felt I was not good enough. I felt maybe I'm making a mistake. I shouldn't be here because I don't know how to sing like they do. But luckily, my voice teacher, Virginia Davids, was the one who actually nurtured me and helped me to actually love the instrument that I've been entrusted with. And so growing in that as an artist, I learned that not only you would appreciate other people, but also learn to accept your gift because it has been entrusted to you. Well, your destiny found you in a way you couldn't have conceived of and now you feel the need to give back? I'm launching my Pretty Ender Foundation today to give a choice today for tomorrow because I want to give the opportunity for young people and the community at large to learn about opera and classical music. And so I've been able to raise some funds and I've been able to buy a few pianos for the high schools and recorders for the junior high schools. It's not just musical instruments you're giving to your community, but also the gift of your personal instrument. Yes, I said, you know, there's one thing about talking about it and there's one thing people hearing about it. So yesterday we had Pete and the Wolf introducing primary schools and farm schools to come and see for the first time an orchestra and I was able to actually ask them some questions just to find out if they know about classical music and it was so funny because one boy came up and I said what is opera? He, he stood up and said it's ah! and I was like so incredible that they actually know about it so it was really really special. Eldest of four siblings, Pretty owes much of her success to her parents, two brothers and sister, who continue to support her passion despite her first choir teacher telling her she couldn't sing. Mum Yende, would you ever have imagined that Pretty would have risen to this kind of success? I know that there is a talent some, somewhere, somehow, but in gospel line, not in opera. And she was thinking of being an accountant things changed. <laughs> what about you, Nombulelo? When did you discover your voice? I joined the choir when I was 16 years old. And from there onwards, I started singing solos and then competitions. But you didn't enjoy opera at first? No, she used to make so much noise. I'd be <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you're making noise, you know? But she wouldn't listen. What about you, my dearest brother? Does the singing gene extend to you too? I also have a passion for music. I compose and, and, and stuff, so I'm looking forward to working with my sister on something <laughs> big.
Oh, awesome. So you can compose the Yende Family Sings album. <laughs> Pretty watching you, watching your parents and your siblings speak, there's an amazing amount of pride on your face. Oh man, it's so humbling. They have grounded me. They've given me a backbone. And uh, the love that I see in their faces, the pride, you know, I have no words to explain it. She's based in Milan, but when conductor Kutwana Masorte invited her to return home to her family and perform for her fellow community, she couldn't say no. Kutwana, it was your idea to bring Prissy to perform in our hometown. Yeah, when I spoke to her earlier this year, I asked her if she'd ever performed in Pietro Deep, and she said no, she'd never done a public concert here, and I said to her, well, we've got to change that. What has the response been from the people of Petritim? Well, we felt incredibly welcome here. We've been here for a few days uh, preparing for these concerts and the whole town is a buzz. They are ready to welcome one of their children back home. After all her successes everywhere in the world, she's going to now perform in her own hometown and everybody's excited. From Mpumalanga to Milan and back, the star's effortless repertoire had members of the audience on the edge of their seats and in tears, including the town's mayor, Becca Bantu, Hamilton and Charlie. Mr. Mayor, this is a pretty special day for you and the people of Petrotev. What is it like having this celebrated citizen back? It's a particular day indeed. Uh, we have never expected that uh, Pretty after so many years of travel, she will come back and also grace Petra Tiff and give us this uh, wonderful and tremendous music. I'm so overwhelmed, I'm so happy. Next year, she's destined to woo audiences in Paris, Washington, Barcelona, and London.